We got cheese stuff completely unlocked. Bring it on, Agent! Hey, eight, 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 eight. What's up, gamers? Hope you all are having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. We're starting today's episode off with 1162 total and 101 quest points. Sadly, we haven't managed to check off any of the impressive stat requirements for Quest Cape just yet. But along with picking up a G-Staff and starting some PVM, we're going to change that today. So let's get questing. Well, I think we might go do Zoga Flesh Eaters, huh? Alright, well. Zoga Flesh Eaters completed. That is one quest point. 2,000 Fletching Range Tanned Herb Lore XP. A few bones, which is cute. Nice, right, so that's uh, 47 Herb Lore and two Fletching Levels up to 26. All right, should we get Demon Slayer out of the way? I feel like that's going to be uh, a, a good little thingy to do. Nice, three quest points and uh, an Avernic Wandam book. Let's see about doing the Golem, shall we? I think that's the next quest up on the list. All right, let's stuff the note in. Task complete. Thank you. Your mind's at rest. Man, I should have just done that at the start. We can now officially collect Phoenix Feathers. 1,000 thieving XP, 1,000 crafting XP. Lovely! There's a little crafting level. We are now level 44. All right, now to do Shadow of the Storm. 10k combat XP. Lovely. Demonic Sigil and Demonic Tome. Heck yeah. Let's chuck this on attack, shall we? Level 45. Very nice. All right. Now we're gonna do Recipe for Disaster, Freeing Evil Dave. And then I think I can do Evil Dave's big day out. So we're gonna go get his favorite dish. Let's go talk to his mum. She'll know what it is. He still lives with her, you know? Okay, well that's Evil Dave rescued for Recipe for Disaster. There's one more quest point. 7,000 cooking XP, very nice. And the ability to catch how else and make stews. That got us a cooking level. We are now level 49. Well, should we do Evil Dave's big day out now? Because I feel like the rewards from that are actually kind of massive. There we go. Two quest points and some big lamps. And now we can just catch the hell rats with our hands. That's gonna make making our spicy stews a lot easier and always a minimum of plus two. And we can make alternate tallies using Evil Dave's Spellbook if we make house tabs. 50k magic XP, straight to 50. Oh my goodness. How many levels was that? Six levels all in one. 20k Herb Lore XP, two levels up to level 51. 20,000 Agility XP, three levels up to 45. Oh my lordy. 20k Cooking XP, two more levels up to 50. 51. Holy moly, that was massive. Let's get Beneath Cursed Tides done as well. Boom! There we go. One quest point. A 10k combat XP lamp. 5k cooking and fishing lamps. And we can mu do a monthly oyster. You'll love to see it. 5k fishing XP got us level 54. And oh! Combat XP lamp that I can put on Herb Lore. Yes, please. Level 52, Herb. Oh, you love to see it. Well, with stream done, I think it's time to push for 60 magic so I can unlock the Guthic Staff, which is a pretty awesome special attack that not only deals a heap of damage for just 25% adrenaline, but also drains enemy defense by 5% and lowers their affinities by 2, making them a lot easier to hit. Just got 10 levels to go, so I guess I will see you all soon. Ah, oh, there it is! 60 magic! Absolutely huge. 68 combat level as well. I'm kind of curious what our Reaper is. Five giant mole. Molly, molly, mole! I think I can do that. I think I can do five giant moles. A box the idiot. There! Maybe not my Diviner's gear. We're gonna do mole later after I get my G staff sorted. Alright, let's go start Dragon Slayer. But I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to get the dragon fire shield for running around in the wilderness. Yada yada yada. Dragon Slayer. Hey, that was an achievement. Cute. Nice. Yeah, bring it on, wildy trash. It is now time to unlock the G stuff. Yup. I've got food prayer. I'm going to take a magic potion and a defense potion. Okay, so we're going to talk to Collodion to start the thing. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Eating up just a little bit. Whew. 
Wait, how many forms does this idiot have? Okay, we did it, we did it. Step into the magical pool. Okay, oh my goodness. Do we get our G staff now? Ah, we are so stacked. <laughs> Now, do I want to swap to legacy mode for this? Like, yeah, wand and legacy mode. And then I just need to use 500 air runes, basically. I just need to go and cast it until it tells me that I've cast it enough times. Congratulations, you can now cast the Divine Storm spell outside of the Mage Arena. Let's go! Oh, we've done it! We got G stuff completely unlocked! Alright, now that we're in, out, out of danger, let's swap out of Legacy mode. Do we right? I'm gonna send one in practice mode because this is my first. I just, you know, I've not stepped into a PVM instance on the account. I just wanna make sure that I'm not gonna get absolutely belted on the way in. You know what I'm saying? Bring it out, Egypt! Oof, this is actually causing me pain. I just wanna, I, I wanna prove that I can get a kill though. My first ever PVM on the account. Oh no! I changed my mind, I changed my mind, I don't like this done. That is kind of fun though. Should we give it another hoon? I reckon we give it a hoon, but off practice mode, because I reckon we got this. Okay, no f***ing around this time, boys. I'm popping Vampora and everything! Oh, we're juicing. Pretend to touch the crystal. Look at me, I'm getting adrenaline! All right, are we ready? Just finish him! Woo! We did it! We got our first mole kill. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, so we can we can kill mole. Oh, dude, 233. We shaved a minute 20 off, 24 off that kill. I could probably actually get two kills on a trip, being quite honest. Yeah, do you reckon we can get two mole kills one trip? I reckon we can do two mole kills one trip. Wrecked. 60 blood runes. Yeah, we're good for two kills this trip. No. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I'm fine. I don't want to finish this Reaper anymore. Why did he do that? Why did I get stuck? What the hell? Okay, let's try that again. I need freedom, man. I didn't crack my roll, though, and I think that Mole is pretty safe as long as I've got a ring of life on. I'm nervous now. I don't like this. All right, let's get our revenge. Okay, we survived our first PVM Reaper. Okay, I think it's probably just about time to get stuck into the quests. I'm gonna leave Elvarg for today. I have decided we're not doing it. Man, that mole was enough adrenaline. Enough adrenaline for me, I think. And I wanna get a shadow over to Ashdale done so that I can unlock Agaroth. Especially seeing as it's weekly reset tomorrow, so I think today would be a particularly good day to get it done. Let's get questing, and we're gonna start this off by talking to Gudra in Port Sarum. Wow, the island's been completely deserted and you want to know what's going on? Brilliant, I'll go find out. Damn, dude. Let's chuck these on. Herbie, 14.8k bonus Herblor XP already. And we still got two more pearls, one we can claim tomorrow and one the day after. Oh, we are so stacked. I just want to I just want to go do in, in search of the Marek and get working on Sunspear now so I can get into real PVM. So we just did our first worldy event. And uh, it got us level 40 fire making, level 40 wood cutting. What, oh, all the levels we need for Framey Trials now. Nice. 65 farming as well. Coach from the future here. Okay, so I didn't realize it at the time, 
but 65 farming there was the requirement for while Guthix sleeps. The highest farming requirement of any quest. We did it! We got our first skill to the level we need for quest cake. Yes! Okay, in search of the Marek, let's get this underway. Well, that's quest complete. Uh, two more quest points, you'll love to see it. We got a constitution level, bringing us to level 50. Oh, and uh, we're level 69 combat. Nice. Let's do an aid of the Marek, shall we? Let's just get it happening. Hey, there we go. An aid of the Marek completed. Two quest points, a chunk of XP zools. We got an attack level to 46, a defense level to 34. And a strength level up to 33. Nice! Oh, we got freedom! Ah! Yes! Oh, I nearly died at Mole today because I didn't have freedom. I am way more excited about that than I should be, but you know. Okay, let's get buyers and sellers done. Let's go find Darren Lightfinger and get this quest happening. I think he says something about stealing some sh That sounds alright. It's better than all the other quests which have me grave robbing. Nice. 34 thieving there for completing buyers and sellers. Let's do from Tiny Acorns. Let's keep the thieving rolling while we're while we're on one, shall we? All right, that's from Tiny Acorns completed. Another thousand thieving XP. Let's go talk to Ali and get the feud started. There we go, the feud completed. One quest point, 15,000 thieving XP. Boom. Five thieving levels to 39. Sheesh. I need to get... What's it called? New foundations done. Bought foreign three built. Let's talk to Bill. About finishing off this quest. Nice. And that is the Fort Foreign Three Lodestone built. I'm gonna run a quick Herbie Werby now, and then tomorrow on stream, I think we're gonna get 53 thieving for the desert treasure requirement, and then see if we can't do enough quests to grab our 125 quest point die. Oh, there we go. Level 60 Herblore coming in. All right. Now I want to go get Lost Her Marbles done, but I think that requires 41 thieving. So I'm going to go train some thieving. And the way to do that apparently at the level is opening the northern cell doors and then hopping worlds, which is not a very exciting training method, but it's fast. There we are. Level 41 thieving in the bag we can now do lost her marbles delightful that's lost her marbles completed and we get another 5,000 thieving xp 43 thieving very nice all the levels we need for temple of icov cute there we go level 53 thieving one of the requirements for desert treasure now i tell you what actually i've got 344 reaper points Permanently increases the amount healed by, from signs. 250 points. That seems like a very relevant unlock if we're going to stew boost and make some signs. Okay. Have we got lustrous energy? Oh, we do. Bruh, let's go. <laughs> I have a sign of life. Oh. And then we're stopped. We've got rings of life and signs of life for days. All right. We have to talk to Xenia to get Carnelian Rising underway. Wow. Okay. She just teleports in. Hey, there we go. That is Carnelian Rising done. One quest point. A few XP zels. 46 into crafting skill. That feels nice. All right, let's go get Dimension of Disaster started. Oh, there we go. Coin of the Realm completed. One quest point. Access to New Varrock. Want to see it? Heck yeah. I need to get Dimension of Disaster Demon Slayer done. Nice. Another three quest points in a bag. We are at 124 quest points. Shall we do one more quest and just get our quest die? I'm going to go to Imp Catcher. There we go. Imp Catcher done. It's only one quest point. 875 magic XP. Okie dokie. 125 quest points. Let's see. Let's snag our dice. Is my next 25 quest points actually going to be vanquished? Okay, nice. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? 500k from these bad boys now. That's nice. Adamant Shield H3. How sad is that that, that, that thing is no cap too high level for me to equip? And that wraps up this episode of the Hardcore Road to Quest Cape. We gained 134 total levels to finish up on 1,296 total and knocked out 17 more quests for 125 quest points. Along the way we snagged a gothic staff, unlocked signs of life, and only nearly died once. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.